Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about the fascinating American obsession with fall. And truthfully, I think this is something that you, I think a large portion of my audience who are actually American and a lot of my audience who aren't American are heading into or are currently in fall or autumn could probably educate me on because I am so fascinated with the obsession of fall. I recently posted a photo on my Instagram because I live here in Australia and I'm so over the moon excited that I am in spring. Ah! And I just posted about how excited I was and how happy I was that I made it out of winter and that I was in spring. And so many of you replied back to that story and said that you were so excited to have fall. Like you were like, Take it, take summer, we don't want it. Like, take it back, we're ready for fall, bring on fall. And it's this fascination, this, this glorification, this almost obsession that I see with fall. And it's kind of something I've always seen and noticed, but I think that probably social media made like more obvious because here in Australia, we don't have this same like consumerism element and excitement for uh, season changes like it's not as noticeable I personally think in our stores and in our cafes and you know We don't really have like seasonal drinks. We kind of do it's a little bit weird I drove past a I think it was a cheap was it a cheapo? I don't know I drove past a, a coffee shop the other day and I saw like pumpkin, pumpkin spice latte and I'm like mm, That's weird. We're in spring. Yeah, we just don't have this same kind of themed living and like that consumerism element isn't as strong here in Australia and it's always been something that I wanted to do visit America in the fall in autumn because I'm just so fascinated by it you know even on social media I was seeing people post about fall in you know July in in August and getting excited about that time of year I am someone who loves summer to death and I never wish it away. Like I never wish summer away. And I'm really interested and fascinated with this obsession and this love for fall. So I think this will be a really great opportunity. I would love for you to share with me your thoughts in the comments down below, whether you're like me and you're in Australia or you're in Europe or anywhere else around the world. Um, especially if you're American, I'd love to hear from you. Do you have this obsession, this, this excitement for fall? What is your thoughts on fall? I kind of think that the way a lot of people feel about fall is the way that I feel about spring and summer being here in Australia. We see the cozy sweaters, we see the, the cozy movies and the cuddle up sessions and the just the home decor, the limited edition excitement of home decor and, and Starbucks drinks and you know pumpkin spice lattes and pumpkin this and pumpkin that. And I remember I was in America for a very brief time in September, October, I think I left like the 4th of October, so I didn't really get to spend like a proper autumn, proper fall, but I remember seeing things changing. I remember seeing this like, this plastering of fall in stores, in grocery stores, in like in Starbucks and just on the street, like a lot of companies, a lot of businesses were just promoting fall. And I remember getting so excited because I saw a, a can of tin pumpkin and I was like, wow, pumpkin pie, what? Yeah, I just, I didn't have any of that stuff like growing up and when I was younger. And just this, the, the decor and the, the kind of redecorating of the house and all of these things and all these elements that make people in America excited for fall I mean, I could technically do it here in my country, in Australia as well, but I just, I never really got it. Like, I never really understood. There's actually a scientific, psychological reason behind why so many people in America love fall. It really just comes down to the psychological element behind what fall actually represents. And I'm gonna have the article actually linked in the description for you if you wanna have a proper read of it. Research actually shows that experiencing temporal landmarks can boost motivation to pursue goals. And what I guess I just never really considered before was in fall in America, it's when kids go back to school. It's when kids go back to school and start afresh after their big summer holiday, summer break, summer vacation, if you will. And I guess that kind of trickles over into adulthood and a lot of those kind of memories and that association with a fresh start and new exciting times and new possibilities, new opportunities, new friends, very much that I can see that very much trickling over into adulthood because what I realized was that's the exact same reason why I love spring and summer so much. 
And it's because I see it as a fresh start. Like I associate spring with an excitement for summer. Like I'm like, oh my God, the warmer weather's coming, which means it's going to be a fresh start, a new beginning, a new time of my life. I never really thought about it, but I associate those same memories, like the same memories of starting school because here in Australia, we have our really big long break over the Christmas period. And we kind of have our Christmas break and our summer break all in one because we experience Christmas in summer. And then we start school again fresh in, I think, is it late January, early February maybe? We experience that going back to school in summer, which I always associate with like the start of a new year, that exciting fresh start. Why I love spring and summer so much is probably the exact same reason why so many Americans love fall, because that association with those memories of family and happy, happy memories. Hey, honey bear. Hi. Do you want to come sit up and say hello to your friends? He's coming. The king is blessing us with his presence. You want to come sit up here with Mummy's cake? Please. Oh, good job. Good job, my child. He's experiencing, he's experiencing a bit of seasonal um, allergies. It's spring here at the moment, so he's just hating life. Are you okay, my Ghibli? Sorry, he's not, he's not really in the mood to speak to anyone at the moment. You're not feeling very social, are you? You're just tired and you're sick of the allergies. I know my job job. According to psychologists, yes, Pliny. Hello, darling. Oh, I love you so much. Mm. Yes, I know. Mm. Um, and according to psychologists, that association follows us on into adulthood and just transitions to focusing on our career, new goals and beginnings and almost like a fresh push of motivation into our adult lives. And I also kind of think that's probably why I feel like I am the most productive and the most motivated in spring and in summer because I have those same associations. I associate warmer weather with going back to school and I associate warmer weather with, you know, New Year's Eve and kind of that whole new beginning of the new year. So I think all my kind of core memories, all my happiest memories like experiencing Christmas with my family and having barbecues and like sausages and chops and salad on the barbie <laughs> with my family outside those all those memories I always contributed them to being warm and being around sunshine and being in the summer which is probably a similar reason why a lot of Americans love fall because it signifies and it signals to them that that change is coming to Christmas and to you know spending more time with loved ones and and having those really special core memories from our childhoods does that make any sense I also think fall in America is Probably something to be more excited about, obviously because you've got Christmas coming up and you've got, you know, New Year's Eve coming up in the winter, but you have things like Thanksgiving and you have things like Halloween. And here in Australia, I mean, let me know if you want to voice your opinions in the comments down below, you know, if you're Australian or wherever you are in the world. But I think within the last few years, Halloween has definitely grown a bit more in popularity, but it's definitely nothing compared to what I remember growing up and seeing in movies or seeing on social media from Halloween in America. And that's kind of always been one of my bucket list things. Like I'd love to go to America and experience fall and experience Halloween. I think it would just be so magical. I just live out my childhood dreams. So I do think that fall excitement does come with the excitement of, you know, Halloween and Thanksgiving and then, you know, Christmas and New Year's and that kind of more winter period. But for me living in Australia, the only holiday that we really celebrate in autumn is Easter. That's kind of the only holiday that we celebrate. And I've always associated autumn and winter with a really dark, dark and depressing time. And that's just what I've always associated it with. Like my city especially really shuts down in, in the winter time. And a lot of Australians flee and go to Europe or they'll go to the top end of Queensland to experience that more kind of tropical heat. A lot of Australians kind of travel and leave Australia in the winter to experience warmer climates. I guess I never really considered full feeling like a fresh start. Please let me know in the comments down be below. Is that what it is for you? If you're American, is does full feel like a fresh start? Does it feel like a new beginning? I guess it probably fits into your lives the same way that maybe, you know, a birthday does or like a new year's does, you know, it's like that, that excitement of a, a fresh chapter and a new beginning. One other theory that I read was that it's not only kind of the temporal landmarks that makes fall so 
amazing and such an exciting time of year for a lot of Americans, but it can also be kind of that comfort of getting back into a steady routine after summer and just kind of getting back into quiet, relaxed time. During the summer, people tend to travel for, for vacations and have less predictable schedules. Another theory was that the weather also kind of boost mental health benefits and the cooler temperatures and the, the leaves changing encourages people to spend more time in nature. And that's obviously been connected with happiness, well-being, and just a better mental state. Whereas, I mean, I'm sure I like seeing the leaves change. I feel like we don't get, I don't get as a lot of like significant color change here. I personally don't think, I don't see it as much where I live, but I do see spending time in nature being more of that boost, mood boosting. But that's how I feel in summer. Like my mood is 100% boosted in summer. I spend more time outdoors in spring and summer than I do in, in autumn or winter, like by a long shot. And apparently another thing is like the cooler temperatures bring on a little bit more clarity and a little bit more mental alertness as opposed to the fogginess that people apparently associate with summer. For me, I'm the sharpest and I'm the most mentally sound in summer. I don't get as much of that fogginess, like, yeah, I guess I'm, maybe I'm just used to it. I'm used to that kind of heat. And I don't get as much mental clarity in winter. Like I don't trust myself in winter because I get incredibly, incredibly depressed. I experience extreme seasonal depression and I don't trust my thoughts in the colder month. The new beginning of that going back to school and that association and maybe the association of it's coming closer to Christmas, which is how I feel in spring. I think, oh my God, summer's coming closer. Family time's coming closer. Christmas is coming closer. Like that really long extended break is coming up. I still don't really understand it. And maybe it's not gonna be something I ever understand because it's just not something I ever grew up with. But I'm still so eager to go to America and experience a, a fall. But I, I don't think it will be as exciting to me as if I had spent that like as a child. You know what I mean? Like those childhood memories, those core memories, I think are what makes people love fall so much. But I thought this video was a little bit all over the place. Please share with me your thoughts. Please share with me what your favorite season is and are you as obsessed with fall or are you more obsessed with summer like me like spring summer i come alive please show me all your thoughts in the comments down below i'm gonna have another one linked for you right here if you haven't had enough me just yet feel free to join me over there thank you so much for joining me in today's video and i'll see you in my next one <laughs> bye